What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to our Unorthodox Savings. And today I'm talking about the Burr real estate method. Burr stands for buy, renovate, rent, refinance. And for those of you who don't know what that is or what that's even about, it's basically a combination of house flipping and renting out real estate to people. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do with your investments or your stocks. You are your own person and you should do what you want to do. But I actually am a licensed real estate agent in the state of New Jersey and Pennsylvania, so it does give me some validation. Although, the method I'm telling you guys to use requires no college degree, no licensing or schooling, and actually, in some cases, no money at all. In this video, I'm just going to get right to the point. I don't want to make jokes or beat around or anything. I want you guys to be able to use this video as a template and come back as many times as you can when you're looking at properties and trying to make your first investment. And what you need to do first is actually buy something. Um, it sounds pretty trivial. It sounds like something you should know, but actually buy a property. Now, don't go out and buy any property because 90% of the houses you want to buy will not work out. And here's why. When you calculate the numbers for the house beforehand, it requires a lot of negotiating, a lot of conversations with people that you may or may not get along with. You have to go and knocking on doors and a lot of no's and a lot of things that just don't work out. And you kind of have to get over your own ego because there's going to be a house that you really like, but you can't afford. Well, the numbers don't add up. Now, I'm not going to sit here and run a bunch of charts and numbers at you guys. What I'm going to do is there's a podcast called the Bigger Pockets Podcast where they made a calculator for the Burr investment strategy. And I'm going to leave it in the description below and you can use it whenever you want. So it just saves you time and you can use it. It's the easiest calculator for the Burr investment strategy I've ever seen. I could not describe it better. So I'm just going to let it do the talking. Now, ways you can find the properties to buy is to one, have a price that you should be going for beforehand. You know, all the numbers are there. And then go on Zillow, Trulia, which are free apps for real estate. Go knocking on doors that are unlisted. This may not be the best time to be going to do that. So I, you didn't hear that from me. But if you do that, there, these are some of the steps you can do to get the upper edge on a good deal for yourself. The next step is renovations. Renovations is one of the biggest reasons that people do not like this strategy or they do like it. And if you're anything like me, you don't need to know a lot of information. You don't necessarily need a lot of money. It's how much work you put into your investment is how much you get out of. And that's way completely different from the stock market, which is why I want to bring this opportunity to you guys is because you know, if you did a push up and every time you did a push up, a cent went up on your stock, you'd be jacked and rich. So for real estate, when you have a renovation on a house, how much you renovate it, how much work you're willing to put into that house is how much you're gonna get back out of it. That's why it's similar to house flipping. And doing the work yourself is way cheaper than buying the house done in the first place. And any work you don't know how to do, you can hire somebody or hire a contractor depending on what shape the house is in. And on the bright side of that is, is you get to decorate a house for free, which means you get to add your own touches to it. You know. Um, I would recommend that you leave it more of like a neutral base so you, people can kind of do what they want to do with the property. But you know, you get to add your own touch as in if you're replacing doors, if you're adding an arch in the, between the living room, the kitchen, you know, and the ceiling goes like that. <laughs> when you figure out the house you want and you start to renovate it, you got to figure out how much money in renovations you're willing to put down on that house, whether it's your own money or it's something you get from a bank as in a loan. And if you want to do just doorways and fix up the carpets or put in hardwood flooring or if the house is in a wooden structure it's in a skeleton phase and you're like i don't even know how to put a house together so you hire a contractor to do it you got to understand how much you're willing to spend beforehand because that money adds up very quick and when it takes a long time it's over a span of months so it's harder to budget your money and track it in previous videos i talk about the people you know the friends you make and the connections you start to make as you go throughout your life. And why it's important to make connections with people who are electricians, people who do roofing, landscaping, people who do HVAC, who are carpenters or masons. These people will give you discounted rates, will save you a lot of money if you wanna get into real estate or if it's your own personal home. And this is that exact reason to why this can come into handy. And the next part is rent. 
you want to find someone who is willing to rent your property and before you even do that you should know how much you want to actually charge for rent the reason this is very important and probably the most important step is because when you have the numbers for rent and people who are already renting out your property it shows the bank that you have active income coming in and it helps you get a loan for the house and it helps you get a loan for the next step of the process which is refinancing so for you to be able to know how much you're making a month in rent revenue is very very important i do want to add an addition that although being a landlord is a really weird time with everything going on especially with different laws being passed of no evictions and extending mortgages and everything like that don't let this scare you away as a quote goes the best time to invest was yesterday the second best is today so there's never going to be the perfect time you should just find the time and do it and this leads me to my last step which is refinancing the property or which is known as a cash out refinance to make this short the bank comes out and it appraises your property after it's fixed up and you have renters in it for a higher price than you initially bought it for and then you get a new loan from that bank at the same percentage of interest that you got beforehand so with the money you get back you'll have all the money to pay back your renovations on the new home you just bought plus extra money from your down payment and you'll be able to use that money for the next payment on your next home now this needs to be said is there's a law or technically a seasoning period where you have to wait six months from the time you buy a property to the time you can do a cash out refinance on that and that's just prevent people from just copying pasting every single month and earning all this money and going to a lot of debt real quick before the banks or anybody can catch up the reason why this method is so successful and why it makes people millionaires so fast so quick is because when you, my first video when I made a Roth IRA, I talked about dividends growing and how compound growth grows your portfolio exponentially. This is the same thing, but in real estate. So you buy a house, you get the cash out refinance, you do the same thing in the next property, and you keep doing it and doing it, right? You're still earning equity on the home. Hopefully, which it should be, is the home is raising value at the same time over the years. And then you are having more and more monthly income from your rentals. And when the banks see this, the bank goes, that's a lot of money they're bringing in and they're gonna be willing to give you larger and larger loans. This is when you get people who have about 10 to 15 real estate properties and they go, this is a lot of work. I don't feel like running around. They sell all their properties maybe except for like a couple that are already paid off and then they'll buy an apartment complex or some business and hire a property manager and just put their feet back and they're retired and people do this and this is how most millionaires are made is through real estate investing and the reason why this is so popular and you see on the internet is because the work you put in is the work you get out you can eliminate risks sheerly through hard work and i feel like a lot of people will like this because you're like finally there's a way where if i just shut up put my head down and get to work I can actually be rich. All right, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. If this provided value for you, please leave a like, subscribe, comment any questions. If you have any questions on what you, like, let me know what you're doing, like where you where you are, where you're looking at buying a house, anything like that, I'll be more than willing to respond and talk to you guys. Um, I'm gonna leave a link down below for Bigger Pockets Burr calculator so you can calculate your homes and everything you need to do on there. And I'll also leave a link down to Morning Brew Morning Brew is a morning newsletter, tells you what the markets are doing and about five to seven big things that are going on in the world and what you need to know about that. I'm also doing a giveaway. If you want, go check out my Instagram or I'm going to post on my story who the winner is. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time.